we are now going to take a look at how we can read line by line from a file using the function called as fketS. If you remember in the previous program, I had created an output file called as fketS test.txt. I'll show you that on the online GDB compiler. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to read that particular file. So, what I need to do is I'm going to say fptr, fopen, name of the file in read mode. R stands for read mode. Assuming I'm not getting any error while opening the file, I'm going to start printing the file line by line. In order to print the file line by line, it is quite easy. I just need to say fketS. Okay. Then, first thing is going to be my buffer. Okay. Then, maximum size or maximum number of characters minus one. And then the file pointer. So I keep I need to keep reading as long as this is not equal to null. So you need to remember a few things when you're doing files. Some of the functions do not return the end of the file. Like for example, if fgetS is unable to read any data after the last line, it will return a null value. So as long as it's not returning null, you can simply say printf percentage s and name. So the complete line will be printed on your screen. So let me just repeat what I'm trying to tell you here. fketS is not going to return end of the file. The minute it fails to read or it has encountered end of the file, it is going to return this null value. So when fketS returns a null value, that means I have reached my end of the file or there is some error while reading. So then I can simply go ahead and print the name. I'm going to print one line at a time and then I'm going to particular then I'm going to close the file pointer once I'm done. So if you look at this particular program, it's quite simple. Pretty much everything is the same except that I'm reading the file line by line. And as long as it's not null, I'm simply going ahead and printing that particular line. And finally, when all the reading is done, I'm closing the file and halting. So let us first try to copy this particular program here. So if you see here, this is the program we had created. Welcome to GE, GHU, Bimtal Rocks, Haldwani is a great place, buy and so on. So if my program is correct, using fketS, I should be able to read one line at a time and then print that particular line. This line should show on my screen. And then when everything reading is done, it should really halt. So let's try to compile it first and see if any errors occur. All right, there is some error name because I have given the name as it should be buffer. I am using buffer whereas accidentally I have typed name. So I am printing the buffer. So let's try to compile it. So here you can see on the left side, whatever was on that file, all right, has come out here on the screen. So we read one line at a time, printed it on the screen, read the second line, printed it, read the third line, printed it and so on. So in this way, using fketS, we were able to read lines from a file and print it onto the screen. So as long as you know this basic concepts, you can use files to do further processing since you have learnt almost everything of C till now.